the evening, Dr. Bruce Lipton. I watched your video. What a great stuff you're doing. Uh, well, relevant and beautiful. Um, I would like to, to present you with a book that I read some uh, years ago. Uh -huh. Look at this. What's life, Irving Schrodinger, okay? Francis Crick huh, was the guy who was, okay, stimulated by those uh, great ideas about relating matter and, uh, and, uh, and mind. And, uh, okay, and that will uh, lead him to the DNA uh, research. Um, I, I'm just wondering, uh, that uh, bright man, uh, Richard Dawkins, uh, is reacting to uh, to uh, your presentation. And, uh, yes, I guess, I mean, you know, uh, Selfish Gene is a great book. Uh, it uh, helps with studying biology, but it's missing a point. And uh, I think that uh, uh, you're going to get there. Uh, all right. And, uh, um, uh, about uh, pathology. Uh, um, <coughs> Uh, Enrico Fermi says something about uh, uh, experiments, uh, very intelligent. He says that uh, an experiment has two outcomes. First one is uh, 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 the experiment agrees with the hypothesis. Then you made uh, uh, a nice uh, measurement, so only that. But uh, what happens if it doesn't agree? Then you made a discovery. Dr. Bruce Lipton, you are doing that. Thank you very much. And, uh, okay, but uh, an another discovery, very interesting. There is a, 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 a writer, a, a Brazilian uh, a writer, uh, Guimarães Rosa, who says, it's not the master only, uh, 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 only uh, the one who cheated. Master is the one also who, who uh, suddenly learns. And that happened uh, when I was watching your video. And uh, put by, uh, I would like uh, to end this with this. Remember Jesus at the uh, 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 yeah. Jacob's pit? There he taught us uh, God as a spirit. And he uh, wants to be loved uh, as a spirit. There in the Jacob's pit, uh, where he felt in love with Rachel, the man. That's passion. That's passion. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Really great. Let me introduce here, with your permission, Dr. Bruce Lipton, uh, the pre-man notions of uh, what uh, I would like to put as the new holy grail of biology, and that will be in a fast beating. Pathological behavior of the cells. Genetic determinism versus environment perception dynamics. Here we see again the word versus. Think of a strong principle of equivalence. Disease selection. Destroying the DNA and watching the behavior of the cell. Cell still has life. What's controlling the behavior of the cell after the DNA has gone? Here, I mean, what is the relation between the spirit and the quantum fluctuation wherefrom the universe emerges? Remember that Jesus died and the apostle continued to see him. Was that uh, a... Uh, Pathology? Are we victims of our genes? Genes makes me unresponsible versus the spirit has dominant over matter. Again, the word versus, strong principle of equivalence. Now, the three scientific wrong assumptions, the first one hanging there for a while, the the three, the Holy Grail are denying the statements. The working parts behave as a mechanical machine with no room for energy there. If we take that to the quantum level, energy can be uh, thinking of uh, the fluctuation that uh, where the universe emerges, the quantum fluctuation. Biology is still stuck in the Newtonian worldview phase. 
genus versus bioexpression. The chemical truth that genes cannot control biological expressions because genes cannot uh, uh, turn themselves on and off. Um, now, what about uh, genetic signaling? I think Dr. Uh, Lipton wants to talk about this in, in the next videos. But uh, the, the study about uh, fruit flies, uh, but I see here uh, a relation with pointers in uh, information, information science versus strings to the fundamental possibilities. Now the distorted view that Darwinian evolution determines the biosphere, that the environment changes than organisms change, more like a Lamarckian process, it is the most profound mystery of all that. And certainly, quantum gravity will have something to say about it. Finally, that mysterious uh, setting may be controlling the radicalization between theists and atheists. Hi. Now that we are certain that we don't live either in a holy Newtonian world or a unholy Darwinian one, uh, trying to reach capture the attention both uh, of a uh, theists, da Costa, or uh, atheists, Dawkins, uh, I would like to know from you, uh, Dr. Lipton. How do you think that the strong principle of equivalence uncovered by Spinoza, Baruch Spinoza, which so much influenced Einstein, and this is very important for science, how do you think that adheres to your outstanding ideas? And now I must proceed with uh, video two on. Thank you very much, and uh, very good. Thank you.